Good morning students. Um, many of you know me. My name is Sophia and I am your class teacher for 5th standard. I am so happy that I can reach you at least through this classes. Uh, it is a desire to see you all but I know it is very unfortunate that we are having these uh, days. It is a very uh, disturbing thing and it is a very difficult phase for us. But during this corona what I want my students to do is to keep yourself safe. If you keep yourself safe, that means you're keeping your family safe. So stay at home and stay strong. We will pass through this, okay? And uh, we don't want you to lose one year without learning anything. Everyone has a right to learn and to somehow help you. We have been doing WhatsApp classes and I know you all have been responding well. But this is another way where we can start with the portions. So, uh, you will be provided with the books. You have to come and collect your books. Once all of you have the books, we are going to start the curriculum. Every time we will be recording a good video for you, wherein how I teach in the class, the same way I will be teaching to you. And that will be sent to you. When you see that, it will be the same. Okay. Only thing is I won't be seeing your bright smile and I would not know whether you all are understanding or whether you all are being very disciplined. But otherwise, it's going to give you every information that you need, what you always get in your class, okay? And let's see, when we overcome all these hurdles, we will again have that beautiful class. I'll have all my children around me, and it will be a pleasure learning together. Children, we have started English with, uh, it's like a bridging course. We started as a bridging course, and I've been teaching you the basics of grammar, right? But today I'm going to teach you something new which we have not done in our WhatsApp classes. And then I'm going to summarize everything and every worksheets that we have done. That all I'm going to just let you know till where we have covered and what we are going to do in the next class. So let me start. Today I'm going to teach you a very basic thing that is basic sentence structure. Okay, we have not covered this in WhatsApp classes, so I am going to start with that. Okay, what is a basic sentence structure? If I have to break it into two, it will be subject and predicate. These two form a sentence, okay? Whenever you frame a sentence, you will have a subject in that and you will have a predicate. What is a subject? It can be a person, it can be a thing or a performer, right? Yes, so it can be a person, thing or any performer, anybody who is performing something. Basically, if you see it in other view, it can all be summed as noun. Noun. Right? What is a noun? We have covered that in WhatsApp classes. A noun is a place, a thing, name of an animal, any name for that matter is noun. So, most of our sentence will contain this, will have the noun. And when I talk about predicate, what is predicate? This is subject, okay? Now, I am coming to predicate. Predicate is basically the action that the noun is doing. Okay? Ramu is running. So, Ramu is noun. He is a person. Right? And predicate is running. Running is a verb. We have learnt about verb also, right? So, predicate is an action that has been performed by the person by the subject okay so this is one part of your sentence this is the second part of your sentence sentence and predicate can be and something that expresses an action expression of action okay in other words you can name it as verb right so, what is the basic sentence structure? We have a subject and we have a predicate. 
what is subject basically it can be a person it can be a thing or any performer for that matter and it can be a noun pronoun right we can say he or she as well now predicate predicate is expression of an action and it can be a verb a working thing it can be writing singing dancing whatever you may want to say it to be okay now the man builds how house the man builds a house the man is your subject what is he doing building a house so what is the predicate building a house right so that's basically what we learn so basic sentence structure has two parts and i have defined it to you how it is going to be separated and how i have explained how it is going to be presented in a sen in sentences you can differentiate it into two ways direct or indirect say for example i want to say the man builds house now instead of saying the man builds house okay i can also say the man build it now you see here in direct speech i am writing what the man has done i have written house so this is directly telling me that it is a house but if i show a house show a building and say the man built it that means this it is indirect it is not directly saying the house but probably i am showing it to somebody and saying the man built it so that looks like you know it is not a direct information but the person who is next to me can still understand what it is right so this is the way indirectly we can say sometimes we don't take a person's name we say she studies well he has been doing well or he won the race but where whatever we are saying here indirectly the person whom we are speaking to knows who it is referred to so these are the two ways we can write a sentence using a particular person's name or else we can do it by just giving a, a, any other word instead of just giving it it can be a pronoun it can be an alternative for the verb as well okay there are four types of sentences one is declarative declarative sentence is something like this i want to be a doctor some declaring or i am saying a statement that i want to be like this okay i want i can also say that i want to be a good athlete anything that you declare or it is if it is a statement it is called declarative mostly it ends with a full stop and some people even call it a period okay so it ends with a full stop now imperative sentence imperative sentence is giving a command i need you to sit down this is what we do in class with you sometimes right when we are not able to control you we say i need you to sit down i want you to go out right now right so something like that is an imperative sentence now comes interrogative sentence we often ask you did you do the homework yourself did anybody help you so all that ends with a question mark so that is interrogative sentence the last one is exclamatory oh that was very tough to do climbing that mountain is very dangerous so anything that comes with a uh, with a uh, uh, an expression where you are like excited or you want to express it it comes with an exclamatory mark so these are the types of sentences that you would regularly form in your day to day life now having taught you about the sentence the basic very basic thing that you all already know is that every sentence starts with a capital letter it ends with either a full stop question mark or exclamatory mark i have done, done all of that here see this is a full stop question mark exclamatory mark and any noun will be rep represented with a capital letter right these are the basic things that you need to know about the sentences apart from this i have covered noun pronoun verb adjective adverb and preposition okay so all this we have already covered in grammar so now i believe that you can write a sentence perfectly using the subject predicate using your nouns pronouns verb and adjective and adverb right so this is what i wanted to teach you today and we have gone 
half the way in the grammar there are few more things that i need to explain once we finish that then we'll move on to the textbook but before that i request all of you to come and collect your textbook so that we can start with the portions and it was very nice uh, seeing you all through this lens and i hope that you will all enjoy this video and learn from it all the best